is Rennie. Hello, and welcome to uh, the first episode of a certain special-ish feature I'm going to be doing. In this special feature, I will be recording myself doing, uh, playing through floors of Damon Him on RuneScape. Yeah, so if you're a RuneScape fan, you're in luck because I am also a RuneScape fan. So now we share that in common. Huzzah! Anyways, we will open up by taking the yellow shield. Key, what I usually do in these floors is take um, all the highest tier of food that I can, and then I... Well... Yeah, that's basically all I do. Then I set out. My Dungeoneering level is only 73 so far, so while I play, I'll probably get the Dungeoneering experience necessary in order to, uh, acquire the next floors. I'm, like, replaying a bunch of floors so that I'll get the prestige for some stuff. So I'm gonna pick up some more food from the- from this fellow, this rat who I just killed. Usually, whenever I, uh, do this, I, uh, I have my Ring of Kinship set to Desperado because you can, one second, I accidentally, when I accidentally did something, I will wear, wear my Ring of Kinship, I will, uh, customize it, and for ranged. I have increased it Desperado, so then I increase uh, damage of range, ranged attacks. So yeah, it increases my ranged level by 16% when it's calculating damage. So yeah, that is very useful. It comes in very, very handy when I'm powering through these dungeons. I'm not going to be going through every single uh, little thing on the in this playthrough. I'm not going to be going through every single bonus room. I'm just going to be doing as little as necessary in each uh, floor because there are 70 floors. I mean, if I'm going to do 70 of these, might as well make them shorter. And I just got a, quite a bit of experience from that uh, Hydra. And right now I'm fighting Nice Warrior, which is weak against fire spells. I'm a ranger, so I don't use spells or melee attacks. However, if I'm fighting a person who has immunity to ranged attacks, I usually forge myself a dagger. I don't have the key necessary to open that, so I shall wander away. So yeah, if I like, just happen to be fighting Astia Fostweb, who uses the uh, protect from ranged uh, prayer, yeah, I usually forge myself a uh, mighty good dagger. And I just killed a crawling hand, which has a slayer requirement to kill. If you have a high enough slayer level, you can get, you can kill it, and you have a chance of getting a certain bracelet thing that, um, basically you, uh, you get it, and it when you wear it, it increases the chances of a uh, ranged crit hit. Ricochet time! Isn't that fabulous? I love Ricochet. It kills multiple things in the same blow. Killing two stones with one bird. I mean... That thing's low on health, so it's running away. Speaking of which, I love it when you're, like, pickpocketing some stuff, or if you're at, um, if you're in the, was it, our down marketplace, and you, uh, try to steal from a stall, however, when you steal from a stall, a guard notices you, but instead of attacking you, the guard backs away and lets you steal the stuff. That is awesome, and that's, uh, an Archimistix, you can kill it, take its hide, and make ranged armor. And this is a nice fiend, it is really high leveled for some reason. But then again, no pain, no game. Ah, ah, ah. And 
I get a truckload of experience from that? Awesome, and a lot of short fin eels that it was carrying. How does it carry so many eels when it's just ice? Where does it keep the eels? Where does it keep the money and the branches and everything? Well, you can discuss that in the comments. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have a door to unlock. Moonscape, it helps me learn colors and stuff. And look, we have another ice fiend. I think the same level as one we just killed. So I will kill that. And over here we have Zephyrium Ore, which I can actually mine. I have a high enough level to do that. Whenever I get out of battle, I convert my extra adrenaline to, uh, health. Let's see, an ice giant and a forgotten mage. In other words, easy. Oh, crap. There's an ice warrior behind me. Well, that's cold. Ha <laughs> ha I'm gonna love doing the lame puns on the icy floors. Hey, don't give me a cold shoulder. Ah, 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 I love doing that. <laughs> so I will take the orange wedge key from the ground, and I'm really close to a level up in defense. And actually kind of close to a level up in constitution. That is awesome. Let's just say that, the, that Game on Him is the place where I train most of my combat stats. Right now I'm trying to train my... Uh, defense to a good enough level, like a level 80, that would work, while well, I'm trying to train my dungeoneering. Okay, seriously, I can't steal the final blow. Thank you for dying. Okay, so I just realized that that fight was not needed because it's a dead end, so time to backtrack. Running through the place with the stuff. I am a let's player! And here is Icy Bones, the boss for this floor. Awesome! What he'll do is throw stuff at you. He is a mage-like person and a melee person. And he will cause icicles to spring from the floor. Which will spear you and maybe hurt your feet. Not sure how that takes away so much health. And oh my, he is draining my health. My advice, just Rudy Tootie Point and Shooty. That will become a thing now that I said it. And I dealt some good damage. It is really defensive, Icy Bones. You are... Very, very cold, and oh my, you are taking away way too much of my health. I do not like you now. We didn't start the fire. Ice, ice, baby. No, no, not that. Never that, ever. That is a terrible song that does not even deserve to be called music. It is very, very bad. You should never listen to it, ever. <sighs> Anyways... Soon, my ultimate attack incendiary shot will be ready, and I just used incendiary shot, which will inflict, I think, about 5,000 damage, and... Ha ha ha! Burn! Burn! We don't need no water left up. No. No, not gonna do that. And that will end this floor for us. In the next episode, we will do floor 2. However, I'm not going to be updating this uh, Let's Play very regularly, because I have Pokemon Let's Plays to do. Yeah. I will only be doing these Let's Plays if I... I will only be doing this if I feel like it. So, later.